You have returned from your trip north. It is good to see you again. I was concerned. You're worried about little old me? That's sweet. And guess what? I kicked some alchemist ass while I was up there. Bet you didn't think I'd be able to do that. Then you have lost your wager. I knew you would. After all, you are... I was worried because of the trouble in the West. What trouble? The Tyran. They left the city all as one the evening before yesterday, and many of the vanguard with them. I fear there are dark times ahead. You don't mean war, do you? War, yes. It has been an age and a half since our last war with the Tyran. But relations have always been strained, and now, whipped into religious fervor by the vanguard, the Tyran are thirsty for blood and for revenge. They are a people bound by violence and without honor, and easily seduced by the prospect of a holy war. God, that's horrible. But the city's safe, isn't it? It's a big city. Yes, but unfortunately not well armed. Mercuria has not seen war for centuries, and people grow soft, forget how to fight. It can easily be taken by a strong army, and so I fear our safety. And yours. What did you mean when you said, after all, you are... Forgive an old man his misgivings, April, but I should have trusted you before. Of course you should have. With what? With the truth. That you are the one who will watch over us for a thousand years. That you are of the balance. And the balance is in you. That you are the one born into the heaviest duty of them all. You are the guardian to be, April. The thirteenth guardian of the balance. No! No, that's a lie. I'm not your guardian. That's not possible. It is certain. I had my doubts, unfortunately. It could have cost us the balance, and I made a mistake. But it is certain now. You are stronger in the balance than anyone before you. God damn, Cortez, he didn't say anything about... If I'd known, I wouldn't have come here. I would have... I don't know what I would have done, but I wouldn't have come here. Maybe he did not know. Or maybe he did. And he knew it would be wiser not to tell you. But I am telling you now because you cannot stay here. You are too valuable. You must leave. I don't want to leave. You must, April. The Tyran are gathering their forces on the border to Irid as we speak. Come next week, this city may be under siege, and then you will not be able to leave. Well, I'm supposed to board a ship for Laius this afternoon. Then go. The islands are far away, and the Tyran do not have ships. Before you go, I want to give you something to carry with you. I spent the night looking for it in the Enclave. It has been gathering dust for over 10,000 years. Oh, Tobias, I can't accept anything that old. You are not accepting it. It is yours. The Fathers have only kept it safe for the day when the 13th Guardian would come to collect it. And now you are here. Please, take it. It is the talisman of the balance. Known to but a few, it is mentioned in one text only, the scriptures of reunification, one of the thirteen scriptures of the balance. What does it do? The scripture speaks not of its purpose, but it is yours, whatever it is. I am certain it will help you once you find its purpose. It has strong magic, very strong. Thanks, Tobias. I really do appreciate it, e even though I wish I didn't have to accept it. You are the Guardian, child. Your fate is both glorious and terrible. 
but it is your fate. If you deny it, you deny our future. But I have faith in you, April. That's what I'm afraid of. What if I screw up? The balance provides. The balance protects. Trust the balance, and trust yourself. Goodbye, and good luck on your journey. Finally, we are ready, and we must away before it's too late. We still have another six or seven hours of daylight today. Come, come aboard. Did I tell you how much I hate water? No. Well, remind me to tell you sometime. Chapter 6 Oh god, my guts have been cleaned out and I still feel sick. Aside from whatever fish we're able to catch, those apples are the only food we got on board. Hello, Tan. Are you enjoying the ride, April? I feel sick. Everyone feels sick when they first take to the sea. It is natural. Really? So when does it pass? You will get used to it in a month or two. Three at the most. Oh, God. I'm not sure I want to get used to it. How are we doing on time? With the help of your magic, we are crossing faster than I had ever thought possible. Give credit where credit is due, Lyak. This ship is the fastest there is. I can outrun a shadow ship in this old lady. When will we be on Elias? By sunset tomorrow, if the wind holds. How fast is it possible to travel by sea? I do not know. I have heard tell of a ship that once went so fast it took to the sky and disappeared. From time to time, sailors spot the ship as it floats across the heavens. It is said to be an omen. The Flying Dutchman, right? No, they call it bad luck. Keep her steady, Tun. I will, April. 
It's a glass orb with a strange magical glow. It could be some kind of compass, I guess. Captain? Hi. What is it? How long will it take us to get to Elias? We should reach the island by tomorrow night, unless we get bad weather. Any chance of bad weather? Well, as any experienced sailor will tell you, the weather is a freakish thing, and you never know quite what to expect. But no, no chance of a storm at all, or my nose would be itching. What does your nose have to do with the weather? Well, that's a story, be sure of that. And? That's all. It's just a story, and you'd better be sure of that. I'd like to hear that itchy nose story. Why? Because I'm sure it's a real tall tale of the sea, filled with bravura adventures and victories snatched from the rabid jaws of certain death. I had a bad accident with my nose, hair, scissors, and ever since that day when the weather's acting up, my nose itches. You gotta be careful when you trim those nose hairs. Aye. I've come to that realization on my own. So, your nose itches when the weather's bad. A deep scarring itch as from the filthy bowels of the mojo do you know any sea shanties I'll be thanked I do not know a single one not even a ho 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 on a dead man's casket or something like that if I went ho 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 on a dead man's casket girl the crew would tie me up in the hole with good reason, too. Would you like to learn a sea shanty? No. Actually, there is nothing in the world I want less than to learn a sea shanty. I would rather stick my head up the arse of an Elguan who's just had a dinner rich with beans and light a torch. I feel in the mood for a shanty. And I feel in the mood for a keel hauling. <coughs> Thanks, Captain. It's actually Captain. Please try to remember, and while you're at it, cut back on the scurvy sea dog shtick, would you? Just trying to fit in, sir. You have as much chance of fitting in here as I do growing a second head, marrying myself, and moving to Coruscant to start a pottery business. Oh, and before you leave, Mind you only take two apples a day from the apple barrel. We're running a little short, and aside from fish, jaw for bit, we have no other food on board. Those are the captain's private quarters and offices. I guess he's not around. I should try again later. I have a question about your compass. Of course. What kind of compass are you using? It is just a normal spirit compass. When we are not navigating by the stars or by the sun, we use this. What's a spirit compass? 
I forget that you are not familiar with the sea. A spirit compass points always to the magical North Pole, and thus we may navigate according to it. It is very precise, and less affected by a strong magical source. Thanks. That's all I needed to know. I hope this knowledge made you richer. Keep her steady, Tun. I will, April. Why? We're on course for Elias, and everybody's happy. Why? We're on course for Elias, and everybody's happy. Watch! My nose is itching! Are you sleeping on duty again? Storm front! West! Heading our way! Looks like a right old bugger too, Hart. Aye, by the mercy of Jaw, it's a chaos storm! Where in damnation did it come from this quickly? And what's pulling it here? Navigator, change our course. We must away from the storm front and to safe harbor. Uh-oh, I just felt a cold shiver running down my spine. somebody's around. What's going on, Tun? A storm approaches, April, and it is no ordinary storm. What do you mean by no ordinary storm? Look to the clouds. Do they appear normal to you? They look strange, it's true. It is a chaos storm. A strong storm caught in a magical vortex, drawn to strong magic like bees to honey. I have never seen one with my own eyes, but I have heard stories. What have you heard about chaos storms? That they appear only rarely, and that they signify great and terrible events in the near future. It is also said that they are weapons used by the Dark Lords of Chaos, to hunt and destroy those strong in the balance. Can we escape a chaos storm? If we run fast enough and reach safe harbor, perhaps. I have not heard of a chaos storm to last more than a single night, and this one is still quite a distance away. But it gains fast. I do not know, April. Will you still be able to get me to Elias tomorrow? I am afraid not. The captain has ordered our course changed south to get us away from the rocky waters around the islands. We are about three days away from Guyen, but if the weather improves before then, perhaps he will be willing to turn about. But I would not count on it, April. He cares much for his ship and for his crew, and he would not risk it for anything or anyone.